When it comes to having the best lawn possible, there are two issues that almost everyone faces, inconsistent watering and inefficient watering. So in this video, we're gonna show you how we streamline both by installing one of the best irrigation systems on the market by well-trained professionals. So we're back with our buddy Kevin from Hunter Industries, and he's gonna walk us through step-by-step step on what exactly goes into having a professional in-ground irrigation system installed. All right, guys, this is gonna be a good one. For transparency purposes, I do want to give an extra special shout out to Hunter Industries and Rainmakers Irrigation for supplying the parts, tools, equipment, and labor in order for us to make this video so we could get it out to you guys. Believe it or not, Kevin, before I met you last year, I was thinking about doing this irrigation system as a DIY project, but the pre-installation process alone scared me away from it. I would say it scares a lot of homeowners away. You know, what many overlook are the things like permitting that has to transpire, as well as head layout and proper hydro zoning, making sure that we're grouping like areas together. And then in addition to that, you also have to consider the volume of water and the pressure of water you have available to work with. That in combination with the actual layout the guys did the morning of, um, most of that's right over everybody's head. So Kevin, when I was researching how to do this myself as a DIY project, I didn't realize that I would have to have this special plumbing device that's up to code here in Illinois. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. What we're looking at here is a backflow prevention device. And essentially this is the protection on any irrigation system that ensures water that's already in your irrigation lines aren't gonna make it back into your potable drinking water supply. Just to get you to this point, no further in the irrigation system, you've gotta be a licensed plumber, number one, and you have to have a cross connection license because after the installation of this, it has to be tested. In this neck of the woods, that's gonna cost you $1,500 to $2,000. So if I was to do this myself, I would actually have to pay out of pocket for that, plus all the materials to do the DIY system. You got it, and don't forget about the pipe puller and augering machine to get the pipe into the ground along with it. Well, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, there's a lot. So Kevin, I actually wanted to ask you, earlier today when they had that like big machine cutting into the ground, I was wondering what that was. It was a little loud earlier, but can you tell me what that did? Yeah, for sure. The device is called a vibratory plow, as well as a what we call an auger, giving us the ability to go under sidewalks as well. Um, it, we want to be as minimally disruptive to a yard as possible. And a pipe puller is always the best option if the ground conditions allow for it. The other option is hand digging. No one likes to do that or trenching. Trenching creates more disruption in your yard, requires more manual labor to put the dirt back into the hole. The pipe puller is just that. We are pulling the pipe underground, leaving just a minimal slit. You saw the fellas walk it over, tamp it down, surround and drown for a couple of weeks and it's like we were never there. Now we're gonna take a look inside what we call a valve box. Open this one up right here. They open pretty easily with a pocket knife, especially on a new install. Takes a little longer after it's been in the ground a bit. Come on in and take a peek. In this particular valve box, we have three solenoid valves. Now the solenoid valves manage a relationship between the irrigation timer and itself. So the irrigation timer sends an electrical signal just like our brain sends to our heart. And that electrical signal once received by the solenoid valve actuates a diaphragm inside of it that turns on a specific grouping of heads. So anytime you see sprinkler heads running at your house in a fully automated system, that means one valve is currently running at that point in time. What you're bearing witness to right now is Franco doing what we call the hookup. Now, when I started in irrigation, you had to do the grunt work first, right? That's the digging, that's the backfilling, that's what you see going around the rest of the yard. This was the glorified position. This is like the doctor of the yard. You're doing all the connections, which is extremely important, connecting polyethylene pipe together 
with insert fittings and crimp clamps and then going to something we call flex pipe. It's funny pipe, silly pipe. Franco, what do you like to call it? Oh, flexible pipe. Flexible pipe. Yeah, that would be the accurate term for it. And the flexible pipe is what bridges the gap between your sprinkler head and the pipe in the ground. The reason that it's not super rigid and semi-flexible is that when you're stepping on the heads in the ground, used to be a rigid nipple connecting it directly to the polyethylene, not giving it a lot of wiggle room and easily could break at the base of the head or at the fitting in the ground. The flexible pipe allows for some forgiveness. We're in a climate where we have freeze thaw, there's a little bit of upheaval, heads settle, things of that nature, and flex pipe allows for that to happen. So now Franco's gonna do what is the most important part of a hookup, and that's called setting the head. So once he makes his connection from the flex pipe to the polyethylene, you're gonna find that he puts the dirt all the way around the sprinkler head because we want to make sure the sprinkler head is perfectly level so that when it pops up it pops up straight and the mp rotator can omit a water evenly so setting that head making sure that it's secure in its location is very very important piece of the puzzle so he's got actually two heads going in this particular trench because of your landscape and some obstructions if we attempted to do it with one head with a 180 degree nozzle we be getting your whole back patio wet, George. So instead, we're using two heads with specific nozzles that will avoid your patio and cover your turf area more accurately. You know, if you want to cut corners, you would have used one head, opened it up to 180 degrees, gotten your back patio wet, but that's not what we're about here, and that's not what Rainmakers is about, so they're putting it in and doing it right. This is something that would easily be missed if it was a DIY installation. The struggle's real here, George. Again, your DIYers, above ground irrigation, have at it. Below ground, fully automated, professional. You can see this man working extremely hard. This is labor intense work right here. So George, now that the lines are flushed, what we need to do is remove the flush cap and insert the MP rotator. We're gonna take our MP rotator, hold the riser with one hand, thread it on clockwise, with the opposing hand. So when we have it on there, you want that left set edge near what you call the domination line, right? The difference between you and the neighbor. So that's gonna be where we adjust from. So it adjusts clockwise, fixed edge here, and we open it up towards the other edge of the hardscape. All right, George. So when we we're looking to select which type of irrigation product we wanted to go with in your setup, I took in a couple of things to consider. Number one, water is really expensive in the Midwest and it's also a precious natural resource we only have so much of. So that said, we're using what's called a pressure regulated spray body, the Pro Spray PSR 40, which is specifically designed to pair with the MP rotator. That means regardless of how much water pressure is coming to the head, the nozzle is only going to see 40 pounds of pressure. And after the head goes off, the water that's in the lateral pipe will not go and puddle around the sprinkler head and run off. The check valve traps the water in the irrigation pipe and actually utilizes it on the next irrigation cycle. Beyond that, we topped it off properly with the MP Rotator, the most efficient short radius irrigation product in the industry today for a couple of reasons. Number one, efficiency. When we compare the evenness of distribution of water with the MP Rotator versus what we call a traditional spray nozzle, the MP has shown to be as high as 30 to 35% more efficient in its evenness of distributing water. Then the application rate. The MP Rotator has the, one of the lowest application rates of the industry at four tenths of an inch per hour. The average amount of infiltration rate for soil is about a half inch per hour. So anytime we're laying down more than that, it's going to run off, it's gonna go down the curb, and it's gonna be wasted water that you're paying for. So we don't like to see that, so that's why we like a product like the MP that has that slow application rate of four tenths of an inch per hour. The third and final one is these individual streams, if you take a close look at them, each one has a specific different trajectory, so they're covering a set area in the yard as it rotates. There was one that comes out and is an enclosed sweep, sweeper stream that's a negative 10, and then one that's going out to the full 18 foot distance in this case. Also, these individual streams have been proven to hold up in its wind speeds as high as 25 miles per hour. 
So that's a big deal too, because as you know, most short radius spray nozzles are easily distorted by wind. And anytime that happens, and we're not putting the water where we want it, we're wasting water, that precious natural resource, and a very expensive one in this neck of the woods. Vince, I noticed you're running these heads separate from the ones in the front part of the yard, but you had enough water pressure and volume of water to run both. Is there a reason you separated them out? Correct, we did have plenty of pressure to run the whole front yard in one zone. But the sun rises from the east over here, and this half of the yard gets way more sun exposure than this half of the yard. So what we did, we broke it down into two, so you can really customize that run time. Nice. So we're using the right amount of water, because otherwise you'd be overwatering in one area and underwatering in another, right? Correct. You'll see dry spots on one side, green on one side, or the opposite. One more reason to hire a professional. All right, Kevin. So honestly, the thing that I like about this system the most is the smart controller capabilities where I could just turn on the irrigation system on my phone. Yeah, you're talking to the right guy. At Hunter, they call me the Wi-Fi evangelist because I like to make smarter decisions faster, and the HydroWiser software allows for that to take place. A, you have remote access, right? But that's simple. That's nothing too impressive. What it's happening on the backside is the software is actually monitoring the electrical integrity of the entire system, as well as the hydraulic integrity, right? So if you've got a broken pipe, a broken head, a short in your wiring, you and Rainmakers know about it right when it happens, well, rather until it turns into damaged landscape or a high water bill. So real-time notification, it's like Rainmakers has an extra tech right here at your home 24-7 monitoring your system. In addition to that, the savings in terms of water usage, we use what's called hyper-local weather, where globally we're pulling from over 400 data points, and every night at midnight that content gets uploaded to your irrigation controller to make micro adjustments to the run times or eliminate them all together if there's some rain and scheduled in the forecast. But yeah, when it comes to irrigation Wi-Fi controllers, HydroWise is the only option. I'm here today with Rainmakers Irrigation and the Mason family. We have Ed Mason. And Ed, who'd you bring with you today? I brought my sons, uh, Dominic, Vince. We're all over the Chicagoland area. You take care uh, of some pretty high profile sites Yeah, we too, do, don't yeah, you? yeah. We take care of a uh, good friend of mine, Roger Boston, over at Guaranteed Rain Oh, Field. the sod father. The sod father. Everybody knows the guy. sod father. Yeah, so Roger and I have known each other for many, many years, and uh, homes are very important to me as well. You know, uh, designing a system is very important, laying it out. And just yes, for George, yes. I noticed you went with the six inch pop up six as opposed to the four. Yep, yep, got a little bit higher pop for George. I like that. Let's talk to the DIY community about installing our own lawn sprinkler system. Easy task? Uh, no, not an easy task. Uh, lots of digging, uh, having the proper machinery uh, does make it a little bit more, a little bit easier, but again, the professionals have the machinery. Um, but there's still lots of digging to do, making sure utilities are not hurt. You don't want to hit a gas line or an electric line or anything like that in someone's home. But not an easy task. I mean, there's a lot of handwork involved with setting. On an average house, I'm going to say there's 40 to 50 sprinkler heads on an average home. For the DIY community, that's 40 to 50 holes that are approximately Correct. a foot to a foot and a half wide and 10 and to 12 deep. inches deep. deep. Yes. So we're removing that earth, placing the lawn sprinkler in there, doing a hookup, and then from there, backfilling it with all the dirt and tamping it down with the sludge hammer, getting it level with grade. Correct. Yeah, it's 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 an investment in your home. You know, it's it's kind of like anything with decking and fencing and things like that. Um, just you know, unless you know what you're doing, it's not an easy task. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you wouldn't uh, take on putting in a new HVAC system at your home Correct. or running the electric unless you were an electrician, right, or an HVAC professional. So installing a professional lawn sprinkler system, hire a professional. Rainmakers, Mason family here, give them a shout, they'll take care of you. All right, Kevin, now that the project is over, I gotta say there's no better feeling knowing that I have a fully automated professional irrigation system and I never have to use those sprinklers ever again. I agree, hose wrestling is always best kept a spectator sport. And if you're interested in having a Hunter Preferred Contractor give you an estimate on a fully automated irrigation system, just click that link below. It'll take you straight to our website. You can fill in your information and we'll distribute it out to a professional in your area.